Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? We got the new and improved Uller here, uh, who is pretty much going to be a must ban in my opinion, uh, most people's opinion. You got this cool little graphic here that shows you your uh, cooldowns on the other side of things. I'm going rogue. They think they can run. Oh. I'm going rogue. I'm going rogue. They okay. think they can It wasn't run. transferring that quickly at first. The, like, the art down here. It freaked me out. But anyway, um, Uller got his 1, 2, and 3 mana costs reduced. Um, now they're just flat costs and they don't go up like most gods do. He can change quicker. They changed it from 0.3 seconds to 0.2. His one now has increased scaling 10% more. Um, and his axe comes out a lot faster. That, that axe change though is throwing a lot of people off. Like it's actually really completely messing people up. See, like that. That is crazy. I can't believe how quickly it comes out now. It doesn't feel natural, the, the quickness that it has. It shouldn't be that quick. I don't understand it at all. Rex, are you still here? Does it feel that way, way for you? It's weird. If you're point blank, you're going to be able to hit it with ease still. Because it's, no, it's, you know, you're still aiming the same way. But if you're trying to get that, you know, that Uller drift that you get when you throw the axe, you don't, you don't have that anymore. There is no curve. And now that the three Strike has targeters on it, it tries to make it easier to see. But it's just, it's Uller, man, you know? Like, it's, it's Uller. He's come to play. Oh. Ooh, lucky boy. Wow, that sucks. Ooh, I'm so sad. Good good play from him. I got completely baited by the shell. Did not realize he had it at all. But he's there. <laughs> They think they can and run. see, you can now, the biggest thing with him, or one of the biggest things for multiplayer game modes is that after he uses his uh, stance switch, he can jump immediately now, very, very quickly compared to what it used to be. Like, Poseidon uh, will now have a harder time actually crackening him because he can just immediately switch stance jump instead of getting, uh, you know, sucked in by the whirlpool and getting crippled first. I'm going Did I miss any other buffs that this guy got? Because he pretty much got him across the board. Literally everything he has got buffed. It, it's nuts. Uh, a lot of people are complaining about it. Uh, Ataraxia says he is now going to be absolutely a top pick hunter. Or the top pick hunter were his, were his words. You know, he might have been over uh, overzealous because it's a new buff and it's such a big game. But it's obviously way too much for Duel. Um, and what they're going to end up doing is probably i bet they're gonna tune it down a tiny bit but i i think he'll probably end up still being ss in duel as long as they keep this uh stance switch thing uh, they keep the mana costs lower the scaling on the one i think the only thing they're going to change is the axe throw they might add a little bit more of a uh of a kick to it again they think they can run yeah, so I probably don't even need the four pots anymore. As you can see, I didn't. And I was fighting him just throwing shit at him the whole time. Mm, this will be close. Oh, wow. See, like, it's not... It's where you're looking now. It's no longer like you, you start to throw it and then you tilt it towards them. So I really have to adjust to that, just like everyone else does. I've seen a lot of people missing completely point-blank axes like that. It's hilarious. But once everybody gets used to it, you know, it'll be a different story. Looks like he ended up backing up. Unless he's still waiting here. That would be some commitment. Nope. Yeah, the stance switching, it does feel good. It really does. It makes him so much stronger. And, you know, obviously they're not balancing for duel, so... Oh, I don't know why I was looking at defense already. I forgot I didn't get my... Wait. This, this. They will answer for their crimes. I am going rogue. Ha! They think they can run. Your middle tower um, the thing about his axe combo as well is that once you go, I'm going rogue. Uh, once you go from bow stance to like instant, rogue. that is so quick. That combo right there, not combo, that transition right there is so quick. So it's going to be incredibly hard to dodge um, uh, axes in mid range like that. 
Booger can actually, I'm not, wow, I, yeah, you gotta, I gotta try to get it into my head, it's, <laughs> it's so different, definitely play Uller, if you, if you laugh at me and you don't believe that it could possibly be that different, definitely play him first and see, unless you've never played Uller before, you, you will definitely feel what, what I mean, run. yeah, Ymir into, uh, Uller, I feel like he can actually do quite a bit in the early game, because Ymir's hardest, um, Hardest things to deal with are his, in a, are his movement impairments. So if you get have a slow against him, and um, he he deals better with burst than uh, than auto attack. So Uldor having the burst, you know, Ymir can actually do a little bit. Look, I learned. You're done, son. You're done. That's it. Oh my God! <laughs> this shell, dude. This guy's got the master of shell baits. Not my time to perish. Ooh. Cut down in his prime. So yeah, I actually like fighting Ymir, uh, or like fighting Uller as Ymir a little bit better than some of the other ADCs in the early. But overall, you know, it's still Uller and it's still a, uh, it should be a free matchup. Unless Ymir snowballs, which I've had that happen to me uh, before as Uller against Ymir once. And I actually did lose this matchup. Um, but yeah, so as long as you have the control. They think they can run. And you are, you know what you're doing for the most part. Ooh, got quick. Everyone hates the new axes. Is a funny thing too. A lot of the pros, even uh, even though it's a lot better and should be better, they they hate them. They want to change them. So like, to what level does being I don't know being awkward versus being optimal? Like, because now it is better. It comes out instantaneously. Um, but it feels awkward, so like, and they people still want to change because of that. You and that would nerf Uller, though, because it is a, a buff, obviously, giving it that much speed to it. So I just think it's people needing to take time to uh, to learn it. But what they do need to do is make the animation better. I think the animation could look more fluid for him to actually throw the axe that quickly. Because otherwise, it, it, he throws it, like, and it's already gone by, like, the time he has his arm up here. So that that would feel a little bit better. Yeah, the axe speed is actually, I think it's, uh, is it twice as fast or, or like 1.5? I forget, but yeah. Okay, generally I take a point in my ult uh, around here. Actually, it all depends. If I'm like snowballing with ability damage, I won't take the point in the ult. But generally I take it at like level 8. I'm trying to wait out his freeze or something. Ooh. Hmm. Imagine the, the axe got there before this thing came up. Trying to mess around a little bit with the stance changing. Oh, again. <laughs> yeah, um, this character definitely is SS right now, in my opinion, and we will probably stay that way. Look at that thing. Curls it out there. I'm telling you, once you see somebody that has a mastery on it, and they know how to abuse this new axe, and they can fucking do it, it's gonna be insane. I'm going rogue. Because there's hardly any time for you to, um, react to it at all. Alright, let's get the uh, Genjis going. Actually, not sure. Light armor would be important. Um, shells. I'm gonna get a little bit more of a hang of it. I just have to be behind myself. Nice! I figured he was gonna try to blow up early. Wow, look at that. See, like, you can't react to that. Usually, what I would- what I love to do against Uldurs is I get up in their face and- and try to bait the axe out. Because I can, you know, kind of swivel. <laughs> do a little- a nice little swivel. And you can juke out the axe for when he's starting to throw it. But you can't do that anymore. And that, that's like, that sucks for counterplay. It's, so it makes it just too much in my opinion. 
The character becomes so much easier. Like, an insane, insane amount easier. Like, you can't, and you're not gonna be able to do, um, Uller, or not Uller, I'm sorry, on her, uh, pillars against it anymore from this range when you just do that. And that's a big deal, you know? He's definitely gonna murder on her now, whereas he, I think he had a decent matchup against him before. Or, not a decent matchup. I think he beat him before, very slightly. Some people disagree. And now I think he's gonna murder him and most of the other idiots. Is this how you plan to stop striking from a power team has destroyed a middle enemy team? Yeah, I think that at the end of the day, they just shouldn't have buffed everything. They should have definitely buffed him because he wasn't um, a premier god in Conquest and his new Odyssey skin's coming out. Everybody wants the new Odyssey skin. That, so strategically, they buff him so that they can get him in line um, where people actually want to play him, right? Because you don't want to get an Odyssey skin for someone who's unviable. I am going rogue. And they, they swear that that's not the reasoning, but I think it has to be the reasoning. Even subconsciously, it has to be the reasoning. Um, I think they're obviously just not going to say that's the reasoning. But it, it very clearly has to be. Like, you, you don't just buff every single thing in the character's kit about like a month or two before his big the biggest skin in the game comes out. You know, one of the four biggest skins of the game. How many Odyssey skins have there been? Or the, you know, the big one. Yeah. Which we go here. XE. It does feel smooth though. It really does. That transition is great. I just think the axe thing needs to be changed. And I do think it's funny that, you know, a lot of people that play him want the axe change reverted, even though it is such a major buff to him just because it feels not good. Yeah, my recommendation is definitely to always ban this god. I know people like Rexy can be sad or <laughs> mad at me. But it's it's a it's a must now. Sucks because there's already so many OP gods, you know? We're really, really struggling out here now. I don't think there's ever a time where you should build transcendence uh, transcendence on a hunter. It feels so quick. It's pretty sick. <laughs> wow, he didn't get out in time. That means we get the Phoenix. We've been having a good day. We're up like 3 at 4 0 now, I think. But this one did not feel right. <laughs> This one felt dirty, you know. Super, super dirty. Yeah, he was trying to, to uh, find ways to react to that. You can tell. Uh, he just couldn't because even Ymir should be able to wall it. Not my time to perish. Or he should be able to try to freeze you while you uh, change in, change stances and go for the axe. Uh-oh. Oh! I was mashing X and it's R, my fucking shield. God damn it. How many times do I do that? At least once a day. Relic problems, man. Um, what do we go here? Let's go for chin size. Great weapons is the comeback, dude. The comeback is real. Unfortunately for him, he checked the red while it was down. He might still be able to... Uh, he might have lingered around and see, see that it's up now, though. We'll see. I'll we'll sell this and finish up the chins. See, I'm, I'm learning. I'm doing that, you guys. You can always point out why doesn't he sell, sell his starters to get, you know, pivotal items. I'm getting it now. I'm doing it. They think they can run. Yeah, he punched my ladies back hard. You are mine. Of course, I'm at the position now where I can do pretty much whatever the fuck I please. He went with a, a good build. I think going Vamp Shroud is so good against Hunters. Uh, for the Ymir specifically. Give me a couple games and I, I got it. 
It's not that hard to react. To to learn. But my axes were already so bad is the funny thing. I was so, so, so bad with them. And I think now I'll be much better with them given that they're just so much easier to use. Oh shit. Bad move. Oops. <laughs> He's really coming. Oh, okay. Good. You're good. He's definitely doing a good job coming back. I have a feeling he's gonna go for that. I am coming for you. With my mana cost, we're no longer a problem at all. Usually you'd be having a little bit of uh, trouble at this point. Oh, his shield was still on. Shield thorns last so long, even after the nerf, man. Sanity. So glad they did nerf the duration of that. See, I was able to switch. That's the difference right there. I'm able to switch stances and jump over that in time. Oh my god, that would have hit him if it was in range. Um, let's see. This is always the, the time where you, the hunter gets stumped. What the fuck do I build now? I don't want to go double defense. That's scummy against Ymir. I don't need anti-heal because he's Ymir. Uh, so you end up going just Titan's Bane. And it works out, though, because I mean, he... Actually, he hasn't gone double defense. I think he should. Um, he... I doubt he will, though, because he's going uh, pen item now, and then he's going to go for... Yeah, it's because he went back cross, so he doesn't have room for it. <laughs> Oh, uh, see, that's the that's what you do against Ymir. Same as like I said, you can do against um, Uller, old Uller. Is just stand right in front of his face and try to swivel around him so that he can't hit you with the axe. Now it's gonna be uh, way, way, diff uh, way different. Kind of like that. And it's probably just should never be done anymore. For now, you can do it because people don't know how the fuck to throw the axe yet. Give it like a week. You guys might even want to let him through. Let him through for like a week. That's what um, who says appendages said he was doing in chat. He said he's been letting people have it because they can't hit the axes right now. So like for for this week, just like let him through and then ban him forever. And we end it with an axe. Finally. A hit axe. Hit axe, a successful axe. GG. Van Uller. Maybe after a week, but he's a lot of fun. I gotta say, he really is. The the stance switching thing makes him so much more fluid, and he's very fast. So I actually like him a lot more right now. Like I want to play him right now, and I usually I can hold back my love for Uller because I I like this god a lot, but I feel that he's so strong that I don't like to play him that much. But now it's like I still kind of want to play him. He, he feels dirty as fuck, but like he's really fun. <laughs> GG. No defense, Siri? 